What's good people, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. If you guys are new here, please do subscribe down below, smash a like, hit the bell, and all that good stuff, man, because today's episode, I got a banging one for you guys. Now, we all know LED lights have revolutionized the way indoor cultivation is carried out. The emergence of LED grow lights have made it possible to provide plants with the right spectrum of lights needed for their growth and development, while at the same time reducing energy consumption and lowering those heat emissions as well. One of the most critical decisions that growers face when choosing LED grow lights is whether to go bar style LED or board style LED. I'm talking bars or quantum boards. In this episode, we're going to break down the differences between these two types of LED grow lights, their features, advantages, disadvantages, and how to choose between them. Now, before we get into that, I just want to shout out the ICANN fam supporting on Patreon, man. The VIP Bean Club is popping. We got some new fire genetics, three new strains we're sending out to all VIPs. If you want some of that fire, join up with the ICANN VIP Bean Club. Link is in the description below. Speaking of beans and new genetics, Qualitrip seed starter kits are a great way to start off your seeds right definitely check them out discount code i can thc works on everything now if you don't want some dope ass genetics then you can definitely cop some new i can fan merch from the diesel dog website we work on all the designs in-house and it's a great way to support the channel just by copying a t-shirt a hoodie or even a hat so thanks to everyone that support man because i can is not monetized so your support even in the smallest of ways helps to keep the channel going so thank you guys so much now without further ado let's get into today's video <laughs> Yes, guys, so what exactly are bar style LEDs and board style LEDs? Well, it's pretty simple. Bar style LED grow lights and board style LED grow lights are two different types of LED grow light solutions that are used in indoor plant cultivation. A bar style LED grow light is typically a long and narrow light fixture consisting of a series of LED diodes mounted onto a slim rectangular bar. The bars can be connected together to form a longer light fixture or arranged in a uniform layout to create a square light fixture, which is called the multi bar style light. So you can have a single bar or you can have multiple bars, but it's still a bar style LED light. Now, bar style LED lights are flexible enough to be applied in smaller grow setups for individual plants or even in bigger scale commercial cultivation setups. In smaller setups, you might see a single bar style light, and in bigger setups, you might see the multiple bar style lights. Multi bar style LEDs offer a little bit more precise and uniform light distribution and make them ideal for all types of indoor gardens. Now, if we flip the script a little bit and look at the board style LED lights, board style LED light. Now, if we flip the script and look at the board style LED lights, on the other hand, those are the more traditional types of LED grow lights consisting of a flat board or panel with multiple LED diodes mounted onto that. The quantum board light is super popular, but the bar style lights are gaining a lot of popularity nowadays as well. The board style lights are named after their flat rectangular shape, and they usually come in various shapes and sizes. And now you understand what a bar style LED is and a board style LED is, what exactly are the differences and the similarities between the two? Now, although they both use LED technology to provide the necessary light spectrum for the plant growth, there are significant differences between the bar style and board style LED grow lights. First off is light design. Now the bar style LED grow lights typically consist of a slim and narrow rectangular bar that consists of a series of LED diodes. The multi-bar design is another type of bar style light that has become increasingly popular in recent years. This design features multiple bars of LED lights arranged in a linear pattern. The bars can be arranged in different configurations to provide optimal light coverage for the specific shape and size of your grow space. Now board style LED lights on the other hand are flat panels with multiple multiple LED diodes mounted onto them. Now, while some people may prefer one light design over the other, that should not be your total deciding factor. Light distribution plays an important role, and light distribution is actually a key factor that sets the bar style and the board style LED grow lights apart. Bar style LED grow lights provide a more accurate and even distribution of light because they can be positioned to ensure that every plant receives the amount of light required for optimal growth and yield. But on the other hand, board style LED lights have a more centralized light distribution, leading to a higher central light in intensity. So if you look at the PAR maps, you'll often find in the PAR map, the middle of that light will have the highest PAR reading. So you got a lot higher central light intensity. With the board style LEDs, the light distribution is just not as precise as their bar style LED counterparts. Now another factor that you guys got to talk about is energy efficiency. Bar style and board style LED grow lights are both energy efficient options using less electricity than traditional HID lights like CMA, ceramic metal halide, or APH high pressure sodium lights. But when you really dig down into it in terms of energy, 
energy efficiency, the bar style LED grow lights are generally considered to be more energy efficient than the board style LED grow lights. Now this is because they offer greater precision in light distribution and spectrum and that means they can offer the required light to each plant more effectively. Additionally, the bar style design can help dissipate less junction heat and just results in a lower overall running temperature and less energy waste. But you guys gotta pay attention because that being said, the energy efficiency of any LED grow light can vary depending on the specific model and brand. Now when it comes to grow lights, Mars Hydro is doing some great stuff. They got some banging grow lights. They got board style LEDs and bar style LEDs. They also got UV and IR supplemental lighting as well. I've been using Mars Hydro products for a super long time now. And whereas some other companies have only just come out with bar style LEDs, Mars Hydro has been using bar style LEDs for quite some time now. I've run the FC4800, the FC6500 and the FC8000 and they're all bangers. Some of the FCE models you can actually adjust some of the multi bars and change the distance between them so you can really customize the lighting in your grow space. Personally one of my favorite lights from Mars Hydro is that SP3000 grow light. That's a single bar style light but it's amazing it fits my 4x2 tent perfectly. And when we're speaking of the multi bar lights I like my FC6500 so much. Now Mars Hydro is celebrating their 14th anniversary and they got tons of sales going on so use the discount code ICANTHC on top of sale items and grab a double discount man. Trust me level up your grow grab a discount and support the channel you guys won't regret it. It's those Mars Hydro products rock. And they don't just rock, but they're super affordable. And that's where point number four comes in. Cost, guys. Cost is a big factor. A lot of people want to grow at home, but you don't want to break the bank. Spending two, three thousand dollars on a grow light is not ideal at all. So you got to pay attention to the cost. Now, in general, board style LED lights are a little bit less expensive than the bar style LED grow lights, simply because of the differences in their design and the manufacturing process. Now, just to break it down for you guys, board style LED lights are constructed using a printed circuit board, which is a flat board that has electronic components mounted onto it. Printed circuit board design allows for the efficient production of many LED chips in a small area, which reduces the manufacturing cost. Think of it this way, you got a square board and you stick a bunch of LEDs on there, so the manufacturing cost is inherently less. On top of that, the design of the board style LED grow lights is much simpler with fewer components and fewer points of attachment than the bar style LED grow lights, and that results in a lower cost of the materials and a simpler manufacturing process. Like I said, some of these bar style LED lights are really customizable. You can literally shift the bars around and you can move them around and customize them just so that they fit your grow space perfectly. I know that Mars Hydro FCE series, you can literally move the bars, you can take bars out and add bars in, it's really friggin customizable and super modular. So that's just something to bear in mind depending on how customizable you want your light setup to be. Now for me one of the biggest considerations is that heat emission. Heat emission is super important. Bar style LED grow lights, they generally produce less heat than board style LED grow lights simply because of their design and the way they're constructed. In a bar style LED grow light, the LED chips are arranged in a linear pattern along the length of the bar. That design allows for better heat dissipation because the heat generated by the LED chips is spread out over a larger surface area. Additionally, bar style LED grow lights typically have a larger heat sinks that help to dissipate the energy generated by those LED chips. But on the other hand, board style LED grow lights are constructed using a flat printed circuit board and that is smaller in size and often more compact. That can lead to less efficient heat dissipation resulting in higher operating temperatures. Now those are some of the differences between the bar style LED grow lights and the board style LED grow lights, but there are also some similarities between the two. When it comes to spectrum design, bar style and board style LED lights can both be designed to provide all types of spectrum to your plants. They can be full spectrum, they can have more red, they can have more blue. Longevity is also a key similarity. Both bar style and board style LED grow lights have a longer lifespan than your traditional HID lights, and they also require less maintenance and replacement over time, which makes them a more more cost effective option in the long run. And plus, both bar style and board style LED lights are environmentally sustainable as they consume less energy and emit less heat dim compared to those traditional high intensity discharge lights. So that means they're not only better for indoor plant cultivation, but they're also better for the environment in general. So all that said, Matt, how the hell do I choose between bar style and board style LED lights? Well, when choosing between bar style and board style LED lights, several factors should be considered. Now for me, when it comes to small scale indoor cultivation, single LED grow lights are generally more suitable. They're really nice and small, compact. You can fit them into a nice compact space and you don't gotta have a huge grow space to grow nice plants in. Also, if you got a number of smaller lights, you can utilize that light bleed really effectively. So where the light overlaps from one fixture to another fixture, that's pretty much called the light bleed. And that way you can set up two lights but have the rays sort of overlapping you can get the best of both lights. Now for larger growing setups, multi-bar style LED grow lights are generally more suitable because they cover a larger area with a higher energy efficiency. Some people
people also claim that they produce a better final product. But if you want to go for a more cost effective option because you're already in a larger setup, then board style LED lighting is a great choice because they're often more cost effective due to the more cost effective type of manufacturing. Now, if you're going in a greenhouse, a single bar or a multi bar style LED grow light is a great option because of their narrow body design and it allows for minimal shading from natural sunlight. You know that if you're out in that greenhouse, you can get natural light coming in and you don't want to shade that light out by having a big quantum bar light over your plants. At least with the multi bar lights, the light can go through those gaps in the light fixture itself. So that'll actually ensure that the plants receive the necessary amount of light for optimal growth and development. Now, if you're growing indoors in a tent like me, both bar style and board style LED lights can be a great option, depending of course on your specific needs and requirements of the plant being grown. And of course your budget. So if high light output is a priority for you, then bar style LED grow lights are generally a great choice and a little bit better than the quantum board LED lights, simply because of their heat dissipation ability. On the other hand, if budget is a concern, then the board LED grow lights are a better solution. Now a pro tip guys, in a grow tent setup, the heat produced by the LED lights can be a concern as it can raise the temperature inside the tent and potentially harm your plants. Bar style LED grow lights are designed with heat dissipation in mind and they typically dissipate less heat than the board style LED grow lights due to their more compact and efficient design. So that said, if you're growing indoors in a grow tent and heat is a problem, rather than choosing the quantum board, maybe consider the bar style LED light instead. So in conclusion guys, both bar style and quantum board style LED lights have their advantages and their disadvantages, and growers should carefully consider their specific needs and requirements before making any decision. Now as LED technology continues to evolve, new types of LED grow lights may emerge, offering even more options and flexibility for us indoor cultivators. So let us know what's your preference when it comes to grow lights. Do you like LEDs? Do you like HIDs? Do you like bar style? Do you prefer quantum boards? There's also some of those Cree and, and COB lights and stuff like that. There's blur pros. There's all sorts of stuff. So drop it in the comments down below and let me know what you grow with. Are you just a grower that uses the sun? If you're an outdoor grower, you got the best light out there. So drop it in the comments and let me know. And don't forget to check out the ICANN VIP Bean Club. Shit is popping. We got fire genetics going out all over the country. Mailboxes are burning down everywhere. So don't miss out, fam. We'll see you guys in the next one. A peace. Yeah.